Now, one thing that's alarming me is usually... <laughs> Here's the, the microphone right there. A microphone. Wait, they can't see you. Are you getting down? Nope. Well, they can't see your face. Can you see your face? No. No. How is everybody this morning? As you can see, we're all a little bored with TV. I get TV. Yeah, what are you watching? Watch that sense. McStuffins. <sighs> <laughs> oh my goodness. How am I going to do my show if you're in my lap? <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh. Alright, Stella, I got to do my show. Can you say hi? Hi. Hi. Oh, we're on YouTube. That's good. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, you going to say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye. Alright, adios, muchacha. No, put... Good morning. Hey, Stella, can you close the door? No? Okay. Hi. As you can see, um, not only is everybody here today, but it's also a day off for my elementary schoolers, which is hysterical. Can everybody hear me okay? I see that I'm on YouTube. Am I on Facebook? That is the question. Let me turn off volume. Everybody doing all right? Getting lots of stuff done? No, I'm not. I don't know why I asked that. This whole, like, you have more time. No, I don't. Good morning. Stella, I think Stella's seen every episode of Dog McStuffins. I'm only slightly embarrassed to say that out loud. Western Australia. Good night. Wow. Blows my mind. And I'm live. There I am. Thank you for saying yes on Facebook. For some reason, my comments aren't going to my restream comments. I'm going to have to troubleshoot that because I like to see all the comments in one place. Let me go grab the door. Hold on. Okay. And I'm back. Ridiculous. Oh, Jenny, we got to stay positive. It is lovely to see you. I was just thinking about you this morning because my husband had a call with somebody in Spain and I was wondering if you would be online. So we're going to stay positive together. I got to be honest, this is not my strong suit. Sometimes it is. Sometimes I'm really good. But I have been really struggling. Um, you know, it was kind of funny. I wrote the newsletter last Thursday well before midnight, which is like a huge feat for me. Um, and, and I'm going to try not to cry on the screen because that always embarrasses me. But my husband was in here with me and he was like, you know, what are you working on? And I told him and I told him my idea and he was like, what? You're going to do what? And I just said that I need to do something and I'm about to, I guess, stop talking. Um, and so I was reading it out loud to him and I just was like, Whoa. <laughs> And I say this, and I think it's changing as I get older. Um, I didn't used to be a crier. And then I had all these kids, and I think they just, like, messed with my brain. And I think I cry all the time now. Um, anywho, moving on. We are going to use this time to talk about something other than what is actually happening in the real world. Okay? Okay. I think that... Um, I don't want to feel callous. I definitely hope that, like, everybody's doing all right. I, um, I just need a bright spot. So there you go. So good morning. Good morning to Sweden. Wow. Um, yeah. Let me know where you guys are. I love, um, I love seeing that. I, it's just, thank you, Elizabeth. I, don't worry. I'm sure that I probably will at some point. Um, how am I doing? Galen, I'm... I'm surviving. I'm doing all right. All right, so we have some exciting news today. We have a new pattern for women and kids that has come out called Sherry. And um, I can't do much of a fashion show for you, but I actually got ready a little bit early today, which is shocking. Um, hello, Heidi. Oh, even my mom. I can't see my mom. Anyway. Um, okay. Regroup. 
What is it that, uh, there's some movie where she's just like, <sighs> okay. Anyway, so I'm going to stand up. I made a sherry. So every, every time, this is a little like insight into Jessica. Every time we come out with a new pattern, I kick myself if I don't have one for Tipsy Tuesday, which is like 95% of the time. I don't know what is wrong with me. And I just realized what I forgot to do this morning. Um, I, I just like, I, I think I just get too caught up. It's, even when it's my own pattern, it's not just if it's Rochelle's. It happens even if it's mine. And so yesterday I was floundering a bit and like grumpy, which is like my normal thing right now. Excuse me while I look at the computer because I'm going to actually pull up some photos from our new patterns because I always like to show off some. Um, our testers work so hard and I love showing you some. Usually I spend a little bit more time on this, but I'm sorry. I love seeing our international testers too. It really... Um, I just, my mind is blown every time somebody is like, I'm in South Africa or I'm in New Brunswick, Canada, where it's snowing. Well, <laughs> New, I'm, I have not been up to New Brunswick. The farthest I've been is Nova Scotia. Um, I'm trying to think of where New Brunswick, like my, I'm an American. My geography skills for Canada. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Tara. I actually bathed this morning. And dried my hair. I actually ended up having to buy a new hair dryer. I don't know if you followed the hair dryer saga. And um, now, this is like first real problem 101. Now I can't plug it in in my bathroom. Like I have a, oh, a huge mirror. And if I plug it in in the mirror, it like pops out at me. And this cord is really short. So I'm having to like dry my hair in my bedroom without a mirror. Anyway, <laughs> I'm oversharing. Um, but, uh, you know... As a work from home entrepreneur, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Uh, well, that's a new thing. I read a lot. And everybody's always like, make sure you get up in the morning and get dressed. And like, usually I do that because I'm taking the kids to school, right? I've found that in the last two week and a half, um, no, I don't even bathe. It's disgusting. And yesterday I commented with my 11 year old that our versatility pajama pants were matching we were both wearing sloths and she looked at me and she was like and we're being sloths tomorrow we shower <laughs> so um yeah I showered this morning I'm very proud of myself and Kara says if I drove to no no Nova Scotia then I drove through New Brunswick but I did not I flew into Halifax but we were talking that was actually on our trip plans so this summer so some of you know some of you don't know we like to drive, and we like to travel when we can. And we have friends who live in Ottawa, and last summer, I think, or maybe the summer before at this point, we drove to Ottawa. And this summer, we are talking about driving to the Bay of Fundy and meeting up with that family. But now it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Mm -mm. We did finally cancel our spring break trips. It was our first spring break trip ever. Yeah. Anywho. Um... I will say it was a home away and the woman was super friendly about um, rescheduling. And she's like, even if you have to reschedule again, it's fine. So that made me, my heart happy. All right. I'm going to pick out some kids photos here. Oh, right on the Bay of Fundy. Well, we will grab coffee if I ever make it there. How about that? I have this dream of like, I don't travel a whole lot. I have six kids, right? But as five out of four grows... If we don't develop our own, like, sub-local um, groups, I mean, we tried to do it with uh, the Dallas Fabric Mart a couple weeks ago, and I backed out first because the whole flying thing all of a sudden didn't seem like a good idea. And then at the last minute, um, they had to just stop it altogether because all traveling had been knocked down. And... Um, but I was really looking forward to that. I was looking forward to meeting some local people and, like, having my friends online become friends in real life. I just, like, I want to do that. I don't know if we're, you know, how soon we're going to be able to do that. Um, my gymnast is no longer gymnasting. <laughs> um, so I don't travel for that anymore. But as we continue to grow, I definitely, that is on my list. Oh, no. Okay, well, I'm going to tell... Laura, if you're watching, there is no kids sherry. <laughs> but she actually like sets me up. Laura is the brain behind the curtain. 
And um, she actually like, you know, tell, post photos in a particular folder. And yeah, she did the women's. We got the women's. But anyways. Okay. So today the kids and women's Sherry's top and dress um, have been released. So I made one yesterday. So I feel very um, professional. I can honestly say that the hardest part is cutting it out. After I cut it out, it was ridiculously quick. And it's so stinking cute. My super fancy 11-year-old already commented how cute I looked. Imagine that. Sorry, I'm tracking down kids' pictures so I can share with you. Because I really like to share. This is taking me forever because my brain has, like, stopped working. <laughs> I don't think this is where they're supposed to... Okay, for whatever reason, now it's not loading. So... I will give up on that for the time being, and maybe somebody can help me in a little bit. But I will share with you the very few women's... I'm trying to block my face. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. You came live. Share my screen. All right, so you can see me in the background, too. But we have, this is the top version, super cute in that mint color. Here's the dress version, also looking adorable with the three-quarter length sleeves. And then I pulled up this one, I was trying to be quick, sorry. Just for an up-close picture, this looks like a ribbing, which is adorable and it's totally in my color. Um, I love that it brings out the mustard. I, I try and pull out mustard. It's not the color for me. Um, but it is adorable. I think this would be really, somebody just said it, it's a, such a cute dress, wish it had a maternity option. I think that would be really difficult. You would have to, oh, you know, you could do it on your own. Because here's the thing, I'm going to stand up. Actually, I'm going to go back to me. Oh my good grief, where am I? It's amazing how, like, how many times I do this and for how many years and I still struggle. All right, so here is mine. I'll get my hair out of the way. I'm not doing hairography. And I'm going to, yeah, now you can actually see the knot detail. I'll do my little modeling. <laughs> I'm so not a model. This fabric actually came from Olga's closet, and the neckline came from Purple Seamstress. Um, I try not to do my necklines in sweater net because that's just not going to end well. But as you can see, brush poly, like I really need to come up with a tried and true method for a perfect neckline every time with brush poly. But, you know, this was last night. So what I was going to say for Crystal Johnson, who said, wish I had a maternity option. Here's what I think. This is high enough to where if you lengthened the whole thing, it actually shows you, and you can't see my hand. If you lengthen just the bottom half, I bet you can make it work. Okay, Stella's back. Stella, you want to say hi again? <laughs> hi! <laughs> Alright, I need scissors, Stella. Oh, they're right there. Okay, sorry. Stella needs a um, breakfast of champions. The go-gurt. It's only like 400 grams of sugar. But you know what, Stella? You be you, boo-boo. Alright, there you go. Adios. Mommy, mommy. Yeah. I need, I need a paper towel. Okay, can you go get one? Or go ask Jenny. So this is real life right now. Um. Oh, there is a... Thank you. So Laura also does videos showing off all of our testers' photos, and she posts them on YouTube. And there is a kid's version of the YouTube video over there, and it's adorable. Um... There's one in particular that is just so cute that I really wanted to show off today. So, sorry. Okay, so just so you know, it is a super quick sew. I said that. You can have cap, drop short, like a short sleeve, but it is just a drop shoulder. So what that means is instead of the normal shoulder line and then a sleeve, it just extends past your shoulder point. Can you see my arm? I don't know. Um, three quarters, which you saw on the white dress, and then long sleeve. And it's a top or a dress. And it's on sale through Sunday. Woo! 
Whew. Okay. That took me 14 minutes to get through right there. <laughs> wow. And now my stomach's going to growl for the camera. All right. We also have the Camilla So Long coming up. Oh, hold that thought. Um... The winners of last week's $25 gift card to Sly Fox Fabrics is Christy Harwood. I was supposed to announce that first and I forgot. Now, we just got a notification yesterday that um, Sly Fox Fabrics had to close their warehouse, unfortunately. And so they are closed for the foreseeable future. So Christy, when we get in touch with you, we can do Amazon or your choice. How about that? Um, this week... What should we do? Well, I'm going to do this. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing a Camilla Sew Along. We had a sale with Sew Sew English that I'm pretty sure ended Sunday. So hopefully you took advantage of that. But go ahead and take a look at the Sew Sew English website. Somebody tell me if Sew Sew English isn't up and running. I think they still are. I'm looking at my comments, but I'm not the brightest sometimes. I'm going over to Facebook. Um... You know, Facebook only shows me like 10 comments. It's ridiculous. Oh, okay, good. Yay. So So English is still up and running. Thank you, Tara. All right, so I'm going to have you take a look at the So So English website. And, oh, ah, how did that happen? Oh my gosh, I don't know. <laughs> that was amazing. Obviously, I need to learn the shortcuts. So, wow. Tina, I think that was you. If it was... Washway Wonder Tape would be a great giveaway. All right, I'm going to go to Oh, good grief. I always I have issue, yeah. I have no short-term memory anymore. All right, so the website is so so englishfabrics.com. I remember that, but for whatever reason, it autofills into the wrong website every time. Oh, and they just launched a new website. I'm actually super excited to see this. So let me share it. Wow, it's moving over. All right, I'm going to pull this over here. So I'm going to have you guys take a look um, for, you know, what pattern, what fabric you would want to sew up a Camilla for, right? This is so so EnglishFabrics.com. Oh my gosh, that yellow is too cute. And the second so is S-E-W, so that's true. So take a look. You can shop by fabric, brush poly, cotton blends. Ooh, I hate collections. Oh, this is how Soso English gets me. It's like they know I'm online and they're like, let's show you all the bundles so you can buy some more, Jessica. <laughs> You do not need a bundle for the Camilla, but I have to say that it is a particular weak spot for me. So, take a look at the website. Let me know which fabric you'd like to make a Camilla out of, and we'll pick a winner. The Camilla Sew Along is April 6th through the 12th, so we still have some time. That's the good news. Let me switch back over to me. Oh, my good grief. Um, so, yeah, we'll pick a winner for that, and hopefully I'll remember to say that again. Hopefully everybody can take part in the Camilla Sew Along. So So English is the sponsor, so we're pretty excited about that. They're sponsoring like a grand prize at the end that will be randomly chosen. We're not judging anybody. We're just excited that people participate. Like, Laura and I were so excited about the Zen Pants Sew Along, and that really motivates us to do more. So, take a look. All right, a woven pattern is coming up. If you are on our Instagram feed please be on our Instagram feed. <laughs> you will have seen a couple of stories and um, a couple of posts just showing like the background process to how I go about getting a pattern ready for testing. It basically involves a lot of sewing. So um, be excited for it. I'm excited for it. Unfortunately, I did not get it into testing this weekend. I could have, but I didn't. And here's why. Um, I I just decided not to stress myself. I think a little bit of grace right now goes a long way. And so 
instead of pushing to really finish the tutorial, which is my least favorite part of this whole endeavor, I have to like get into it. And once I get into it, if I have like a block of time, then um, I'm usually pretty good. But with the constant interruptions that is my daily life right now, that block of time happens at like midnight, which is not my best mental time. And so I should be sleeping. I'll be honest. So hopefully um, I have gotten started on the tutorial now and it will be into testing next week. But it's it's super cute. And go take a look at our Instagram feed. You'll see it. Leave me a comment. Um, oh, if you are just joining us, if you're new, um, I'm reading through the comments, sorry. Five bundles in my cart. Elizabeth, I think you might be my spirit person. I think coral is a lovely spring color. That's why I picked this, because I need a little bit of spring. It's raining again. It's just killing me. And the fact that it's snowing, whew, and not here, like north of here. <laughs> it doesn't snow here. Anyway, um, I'm excited about getting that into testing. It's it's cute. Anyway. Okay. So a while ago, I'm going to pick this up and hope that it doesn't fall apart. And you can laugh at me. Let's see if I can show you. So do you... Oh, it's out of focus when I get too close. So you can see this, right? A while ago, I did a bobbin review, right? Now, I have a toddler, which you've met. And she is responsible for a lot of this. I leave it on my desk. So this thing... Minus the fact that it's attached to this thing. <laughs> I actually really like this. It has some catchy name, I'm sure, that's like bobbin ring. I'll look it up. This thing, it falls apart way too easily. Like, it, I, if I... Here's the caveat. If I did not have children, especially small, curious children who like to get into my things, um, this would probably be fine. And it wouldn't be attached to the other thing. But this is my life. This is my reality right here. So if you can relate to this, I am constantly looking... Oh, look, here's another layer. It just comes apart way too easily. So um, I announced recently that we have an Amazon storefront where I just share stuff like my cool microphone and my camera setup in case somebody's interested and wants to start their own YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> if that's the Tara I know, or that I think it is, you have you have twins. You know my pain. <laughs> Twin moms unite. Um, I'm trying to go back over to Facebook so I can see the comments there, too, in case I'm missing any. I already found a fabric I like for the kimono. That's cool. Oh, see? Jesse says, my son has trouble avoiding my bobbins, and he's four. Danny, it's cool. Like, it, it works. Um, just don't let your children near it. So, anyways, we have an Amazon store bot, uh, storefront, <laughs> and... I was adding stuff to it because I like to add stuff that like I've actually tried. I think that's really important. And so here we go. I added this, you know, this is, oh, I just figured out what my issue is. Usually if I go over to a different channel or different page, there's a little picture of me in the corner and I can make sure you can actually see what I'm showing you. But for whatever reason, you know, it disappears. Okay. So I was looking at this. Laura sent me a link for this and I was like, do you have that? And she's like, no, but it looked cool. And you can see, nope, over there, over my shoulder, I have ones for my serger cones, and then what you can't see is over there, I have ones hung up, um, actually my kids made me some for Mother's Day. I will link to the storefront, um, for my regular thread. I know that you can get little clips that fit into your rolls of thread that hold your bobbin, but my concern was is that it wouldn't work on my racks. I keep pointing randomly over my shoulder. And so I haven't gone that route yet. I love it, but you know, whatever. So I bought this. Now the reviews for this were a little mixed. They were like, it's a piece of junk. Um, I mean, it, it is a soft wood. It's not, you know, I'm not going to throw it across my room or anything. Don't give my kids any ideas. I could hang it up the same way just with the clips on my pegboard back there, but I'm probably going to put it next to my sewing machine and just stack my bobbins on it. And I'm pretty happy with it. Like, it's, I don't know, it's pretty sturdy. I like it a lot better than this right now. <laughs> One just fell on the floor. Um, but again, I, like, I think that product is fine. It's just not, you know, sustainable for a, a mom of six. How about that? One of my children just woke up. 
they don't have school today. Like, they had a teacher work day. I know I already said this. And um, I think even the teachers were surprised that they weren't having school today. But neither here nor there. All right, so I did that. Okay. Tiffany is a new member of our 5 out of 4 team. She is ridiculously cute in front of the camera. I end up being, like, ridiculously goofy. Can't imagine that. If you want to see some of my pictures. So, part of the way I entertain myself and try and get Laura to laugh. Laura does my thumbnails for YouTube because I don't know how to do that. And so, I try and send her the most ridiculous photos ever. And then sometimes she gets me back by using them. <laughs> I don't really mind. I don't have a lot of pride. So, like, it, um, it makes me laugh. So, Tiffany has written two blog posts recently. One is where she combined the Easy T and the Nancy to have a really cool shoulder contrast hack. Um, check that out. We posted that last week, I think. And then today we posted one on another Nancy hack. We love the Nancy. Uh, this is the Nancy Raglan for all new people joining us. But it's just, it's almost like a cap sleeve hack. It just shortens them a little bit and angles them up. It's super cute and perfect for spring if it ever gets to be spring anywhere. See, see what I did there? Danny says they don't go back to school until the 1st. Virginia just announced they're out for the rest of the year, which I think is what's going to happen here. So check out those two on the blog. Um, now it's time for, for my book review. Oh, you know, one thing I wanted to say. Again, if you follow us on YouTube... Um, Tara, did you get the coupon from the newsletter? Uh, if you don't know, if you're just joining us a little late, um, I gave away free a free pattern in the newsletter. If you don't have the newsletter or if you missed it or if you unsubscribed, <laughs> um, you can actually find it on the business page and you can still use the coupon straight from there. So go take a look and claim your free pattern. Uh... I, so one of the things I'm doing to try and keep my kids off electronics a little bit right now is I set up a painting table. I showed this on Instagram. I'm just showing like a lot of my life on Instagram right now because I don't want us to just be promotions all the time. I am a person, you know, and, um, I set up a table and like, I got real paints because I want to learn how to watercolor too. And so I, um... I got some decent paper. I did some research into like decent paper and it was mostly for me because what I was finding is I wasn't painting as much as I wanted to because I was having to clear my desk. <laughs> you can see my table back there. I don't clean very often. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I, I set it all up and like got real paintbrushes and then my kids took it over, which was great. But like, um, I didn't, I need a little bit bigger table, I think. <laughs> It's actually been awesome. Even Stella has been um, painting a little bit, which is super, I love it. She like, it's really cute. I have a little video that maybe I can put on Instagram too. But we've done that. I have a book called Everyday Watercolor. It's from Jenna Rainey. So um, she has her own website. She does a lot of YouTube stuff. She's actually doing like a little camp. And like the first day is watercolor. The second day is lettering. I don't remember what the third day is. But if you check out jennarainey.com, again, let me write this down so I remember to link to it. Um, she actually has a pretty cool podcast if you are into business stuff. So I'm enjoying that. The kids are enjoying it. It is helping us get off of electronics a little bit. My dog just came in because it's actually thundering here in Georgia. Ah. All right. So a couple weeks ago, I talked about the book Show Your Work by Austin Kleon. And today I'm going to talk about Steal Like an Artist. Oh, going the wrong way. What's the learning curve on that? So my 13-year-old is really into art. And, um, you know, my 11-year-old asked me, like, why, why are you doing art all of a sudden? And I, it's not all of a sudden. I actually took art when I was in college. And in high school, I, like, desperately wanted to take the art class, but I was too intimidated. And I'm not intimidated anymore. So I'm, like really bad at it right away, which I'm okay with because I know through sewing that if I just stick with it, that I will improve. And so be prepared to see a lot of bad art in the upcoming weeks. But this book is awesome. It is really inspiring. Um, a lot of times I don't always feel super creative and I see all these like creative like souls out there, you know, 
Um, <laughs> and, you know, there's even these other sewing pattern companies, like, they just have, like, creativity oozing out of them. And I'm like, I look like a, I don't know, a politician, maybe. Ugh. I used to work in the government, so you had to, like, dress really square. Um, so I, like, hide my freak flag. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, uh, I stole that line from the Family Stone. So this book is, like, you can see how, nope, I have, like, hearted stuff and underlined. Um, I love it. I mean, it, it pretty, I love it. So I'm actually underlining stuff and then giving it to my 13-year-old so that she can not only read what I've underlined and my notes in it, so that we can talk a little bit about that and it gives us a common ground, but also I think it's really going to help her because she, you know, like all of us, we, well, okay, not all of you, but all of us, we struggle with perfectionism. And when I paint something and it doesn't look like what I want it to look like, I'm like, Wah! you know, and I, not really, I don't get mad. I go, <laughs> And then I go sew because I'm good at that. So I highly recommend that book. And then the other thing I wanted to say, if you have family living far away, you probably already know this. Um, my grandfather is old, 95, 96. Sorry, mom. I should know this. And he's in a, like a retirement community home in Alabama. And they're not letting visitors in and they can't even like eat in the dining hall. And so we did a Zoom family conference call. Um, I only have the free version of Zoom, so it keeps us at a minimum of 40 minutes, or a maximum of 40 minutes, which is probably good. <laughs> and so um, we did a family call with, like, my, you know, it, it isn't my whole family, but I have three brothers and sisters, and then, like, my uncle was on there, and my cousin was on there, and my nieces and nephews were on there. It was awesome. There were, like, 16 people on there, and it was mayhem, and it totally looked like the beginning of the Brady Bunch, and, you know... I ended up taking off a collar in the middle of it because I couldn't talk because it like switches between them. But it was so, it was fantastic. And so if you can set up a Zoom conference call or any sort of conference call, like um, the kids are using Microsoft Teams. Some of their teachers are using FaceTime, Google Hangouts. There's so many options to talk with your families right now. Anyway, there you go. All right. Take a minute. Check out Sherry for women and kids. It is really cute. I think you're going to love it. And, um, yeah, go, you know, log on to Instagram and follow us because you'll get to see a little bit more of me. <laughs> All right. Take care. Try not to drink too much. <laughs> that is like, we've literally like set up a limit for ourselves, like not three drinks a night, three nights a week, because it's just a crazy time. And I like fear. Yeah. Anyway, I'm oversharing now. And yes, I have issues. Okay, as always, thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of the 5 Out of 4 community. I am really thankful that we have this right now. If you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout out. I am trying to respond to all of the awesome comments that were in the um, Facebook group. It is, um, there's a lot, and I tend to get a little more emotional than I should. And I also got a ton of emails, which is so, I mean, it like made my weekend. And so I am going to try and reply to all of them just... Um, know that I really appreciate it. All right. Until next week, see you later.